Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you my millworm colony. Uh, I've got giant millworms and regular sized millworms in here. And what this is is just a, a Tupperware dish. It's large enough that I can add uh, maybe a couple of inches of uh, quick oats at the bottom and uh, still have some room at the top for them uh, not to escape. And it doesn't need to be you know any particular size, just with those particular criteria involved. Uh, here we got our quick, quick oats right here. Just regular quick oats. Uh, it doesn't cost anything at the dollar store. Uh, and what you want to do is, you know, drill small holes or, or cut small holes in the lid. That way, you know, the, the container is not airtight. They have air, just like any other uh, insect or animal. Then go ahead and add your, uh, your layer of quick oats at the bottom. Toss your starter colony in there. I mean, you can go to PetSmart or Petco and buy some giant mealworms or mealworms and just toss however many you want in there. I started with uh, 65, I think, uh, giant mealworms. And I had a few small mealworms left over. And uh, go ahead and add chopped up carrots in there for moisture. And that's all you need. Uh, these guys are very, very good at uh, collecting their moisture from their, from their food. Uh, Occasionally they'll nibble on the carrots, uh, and occasionally you'll have to toss the old moldy carrots out and just put some new fresh ones in there, you know. Just check it every day, or once a week, or whatever. Uh, so you got your mealworms in here, and eventually they'll turn into pupas. And here we have one giant mealworm, and one giant mealworm pupa right next to it. So uh, they'll spend a few weeks molting eating and molting as, as the millworm form then they'll pupate and turn into that now that just sits dormant for a few weeks as it's turning into a uh, a beetle and there we have a fresh new beetle so after that pupa stage it'll turn into that fresh cream color beetle now that beetle will stay cream color for a little bit as its shell is hardening and darkening and here we have a regular size and a regular size pupa and that's just a regular size beetle. I don't have any giant mealworm beetles yet. But uh, that's their life cycle. They'll go from that, from an egg, to that, to that. And they'll do their entire life cycle in this Tupperware dish. So, I mean, it's fairly easy to contain. And they don't stink. You know, they just smell like carrots and oats. It's not like keeping a, a cricket uh, colony. So, that's what I wanted to show you guys. It's fairly easy, fairly simple. And, uh... Eventually, they will eat through this entire uh, layer of, of oats, and it'll, you know, they'll just turn it into poo eventually. It's just powder. It just looks like powder. So eventually, you'll have to take a, a wire strainer and uh, separate the mealworms from the poo and, uh, you know, go in there and take out all the dead beetles, all the dead mealworms, you know. Some of them do die. Um, and that's it, you know, and just repeat the, the whole deal. Wash your, your Tupperware out and add a new layer of uh, quick oats toss your mealworms back in there with fresh, fresh carrots and let them do their thing like I said their entire life cycle will happen in this one Tupperware dish mealworms pupas and, and beetles and then the beetles will lay the eggs in there and that's it guys